Hey, how's it going everybody out there? This is Jake James Lugo. Welcome to the channel and welcome to this new unboxing and impressions video that I'm doing for you guys. We're taking a look at these two products that were literally just sent to me by Fossman. So big shout outs to Fossman for sending me both their gaming headset as well as also a laptop cooling pad. Now I've never checked out anything from Fossman before. This is the first time I'm actually diving into something like this. They hit me up randomly on email. I was like, hey, do you want to check out some of our stuff? I'm like, yeah, sure. Like send me something cool to actually see what I could actually look at for everybody so they decided to send me these two things because it's like you know what that actually sounds pretty dope so anyway as i'm opening up these things i'm actually going to get my little little knife over here just to cut this open let me know what's up in the comments down below if you guys enjoy these unboxings and impression videos talk to me about that stuff and give me suggestions of what you want to see me uh dive into and see if you what you know what we could actually look at together so anyway as i'm unboxing this bad boy okay we're going to look at the gaming headset first because you know we like headsets over here. So we got a new headset company, Company X or whatever company's out there. Hit me up is all I'm saying. So hold on, let me actually move this out of the way because I'm in an awkward angle trying to open up this thing. So here we go. This right here, okay, the first thing we're gonna look at, whoops, so the packaging is a little weird and I could already tell like there's some stuff all over the place down here. Hold on, let's, let's pull this out because the packaging in here is, is really something. So have this little Adapter here for a PC, which is the little auxiliary input. Okay, let me actually brighten this up a little bit for you guys. Okay, but this right here is the gaming headset. It's a 3.5 millimeter and USB LED headset. Let me pull this out because this package, I don't know if I'm a fan of this packaging, to be honest with you. I think this packaging is a little too ham-fisted together. I'd rather something a little bit nicer, but that's just me. And again, this is on a probably a cheaper alternative headset, but here you go. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure, let me put this out here so you guys can see a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this. You see this right here on the top part for the headpiece that it's kind of just like flimsy? I'm not a fan of that. I don't think I'm a fan of that. But anyway, this is where the actual LED headset or LED lights are when you actually plug in the headset to wherever it is you're going to plug it into, which my guess would be PC more than likely. Uh, and it has an auxiliary input here as well. So you can plug it in via piece USB as well as also auxiliary and you have the little adapter here, the green and red adapter for certain different types of PCs. Uh, and only all, all the thing that comes with it is just a little instruction manual, which I'm gonna look at later as I test it out. And you'll probably see some of the footage as I'm talking now, me testing out. But like first impressions of this, I mean, like I said, I'm not a fan of the packaging. This looks very flimsy here. Let's actually try it on. You're not gonna see me here on the camera as I put this bad boy on. And I can already tell you, like even adjusting this right now, this feels very weird. Like there's cushion on the side of my ears, right? There's cushion on the side of my ears, which is on the box here as I'm wearing it. I could show you guys. There's cushion around this section here on of the bud, but like just the top of it just doesn't feel secure. It feels very flimsy. It feels very, uh, what is it? Just not secure. It feels like if I move my head, like if I jerk my head around and such, it's gonna go like fall off. Like, and let me even try that. Like, as I'm putting this on, moving the headset, by the way, which is very short. I mean, the, the microphone, which is very short. Move my headset, and exa exactly like I said, like I've just, I just shook my head like a second there, and just the headset is just not secure. Like, I maybe I gotta adjust it a little bit more on some of the stuff here. Does this even go up and down? Like, let me see here, because I was moving it around a second ago. There we go. Kind of adjust it there and it's actually the leather part top part of the headset which is like right up here that is adjustable not the actual material that connects the big like top section of the headset and it's the same thing it just feels it's a little bit more secure but it still feels very very flimsy but again maybe the lights will look pretty interesting as i'm checking it out but as far as i could tell just first impressions not really feeling this headset it just feels cheap it feels very kind of you know Again, not secure, it just doesn't feel good to wear. Unlike a lot of the other headsets that we've looked at on this channel, again, from various different brands, not just the big ones like Turtle Beach, Astro, etc. There's been other off-brand headsets we've looked at that have been okay, that have felt a little bit more secure, felt a little bit much more stable and of quality than this one right here. But I'm gonna test this out a little bit more. Again, you'll probably have already seen the footage of me using it and actually just like putting it to the side and like, you know, seeing the LED lights and stuff, just to see how that is. But Let's take a look at now the Fossman cooling pad, which hopefully first impressions, this will be a little bit better. Okay, for all I know, the headset could be really dope in the sound quality. How it, you know, just in the package or coming out of the package, not the best first impression, like I said. So, 
Let me uh, open up this bad boy. Again, let me know what's up in the comment section down below. Talk to me if you guys are enjoying the video unboxing so far, the impressions, as we open up this new item, which is that, is that the only thing that has tape on it? Okay, yes, okay, there we go. So let's open this up. So let's take a look at this cooling pad, okay? So just basically one thing comes bubble wrapped in here, Fossman, and it, funny enough, it was actually backwards. So that's a little weird to me. Let's uh, let's see where the little section is, the little part. Okay, there we go. Yeah, again, not really a fan of the packaging. Look at that. I just literally opened this up and this just fell off just from the side. So this is the USB connector, okay, that connects both the pad as well as also over to your PC or laptop. Okay, let's... Uh, Get this out of here. Man, I'm not a fan of this packaging. Just not a fan of this packaging whatsoever. Let me put that in there, the bubble wrap. Move this box to the side. And there is the fan. As you guys can tell, I'm gonna move over here to the side, move the mic a little bit, just so I can show you guys a little bit better. But here's the fan. Again, pretty much what you might expect from an actual pad for your, uh, what is it, for your laptop. We're gonna try this out. This is the USB connector. Uh, from what I can tell, there's little there's little, uh, little stand pieces right here that I guess allows you to either stand it up on which side. I gotta double check, see which side, because this looks like the top part because the fans are facing up. Let me see what's the, the bottom and what's the top. So LED fans, so those light up, by the way. Those fans here, okay, if you guys could tell, these right here light up as they're plugged in. So it's probably got a cool effect with it. Um, the ports, where's the actual ports here. Okay, there we go. This is what I'm looking at right here. This is the back of it. So what we have on the side, from what I can tell, I gotta look at it like really closely. Okay, it's not even labeled. They're, they're definitely not even labeled if you guys can see that there's like nothing to indicate like what it is. Uh, but in the manual, it says that those are the fan control, which is on the side here, the fan control. Okay, the fan control left and right. Uh, I'm guessing it's just for left and right sides and then just the USB inputs. Now, what else is in here that's labeled? Like, you have the adjustable legs, which I'm guessing the legs are these right here. Okay, here we go. Okay, and I'm trying to navigate all this stuff. This doesn't come out, it's just that comes out. Okay, so these are the adjustable legs. So I guess it sits kind of like this, I want to say. What's the other thing in the top part? The skid baffles. Okay, so I'm guessing that's just to keep the laptop uh, put up. So from what I can tell, this is the top part right here. So it'll sit like this. It'll sit like this, and then your laptop will get placed right on there. So I'm gonna try this out with my laptop, as well as I'm also gonna try out the headset. Okay, this is the USB, like I mentioned before. So this will this will go in the back, like right here. This is gonna be weird. <laughs> this is definitely gonna be weird. Was in there, and it's got another USB input. So I'm guessing maybe you could plug in another device, maybe. But either way, I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna try out both of these parts. Well, so even that. Look at what I just did now. You saw that? Like I actually just moved the the stand a little bit, removed the pad a little bit and just did this and it just completely just put the stands inside. Like it just completely just closed it. And here we go, we got a, a second set here. I just looked at this now, a second set there to actually pull it up a little bit more. So like I said, I'm gonna look at both of these products here. I'm gonna try them both out and see if they're actually as good or if not better than this first impression. But not looking too good so far, so I'll be back in just a second. So here I am again. I already plugged in both devices, both the headset as well as also the laptop fan into my laptop, which is here on the side. And I'm gonna be real with all of you. This does not look good to me. This definitely, again, like let, where do I even begin? Number one, the sound quality for the headset itself outside of like the LED lights, which are kind of whack in comparison to what we've actually been used to here on the channel. Uh, the sound quality of this headset is really not that good. I started listening to some music on iTunes and I played a few videos and everything just feels or sounds so muffled and so like diffused. Even when I start to increase the volume, everything just gets like really low quality and all over the place. Definitely, I don't think I can recommend the headset whatsoever. And even the microphone, I didn't really get the chance to test out the microphone here, but if it's anything like somewhat close to the quality of the actual sound output of these heads of this headset, definitely not something I would recommend. This one feels cheap and unfortunately it ends up being cheap in the quality. Now the fan on the other hand, okay, this is another one that I feel like, damn, this is another disappointment because even now, this is on, this is literally on right now. You can see the lights, the LED lights, those stay as a blue color. But on top of that, I'm putting my hand out here. It's not like there's a lot of air being blown upward. 
the funny thing is, right, because anybody that owns a, head, a laptop or owns a computer knows that they have to usually use compressed air in order to kind of put air out or clean out certain things. I would expect at least some sort of pad that's going to blow out air that's supposedly supposed to cool down your laptop to have a little bit more oomph and a little bit much more power with the air that's being blown out. This doesn't even feel like a light breeze. You could probably hear it now on the video with the microphone because I have the microphone here to the side, but it really, again, there's like nothing here. I can hear it, but it doesn't even feel like there's stuff blown out. Like if I get really closer, like almost is as if I'm like borderline touching it, then I could feel it, but there's not much there. And then adjusting it doesn't really do much other than just lower the, was it lower the little bit of the brightness with the fan. And it's supposedly supposed to make, uh, what is it? The output of the air a little bit more but it really doesn't feel like it. It really doesn't even sound like it to an extent. So I don't think I could recommend either one of these products from Fosman. They feel cheap, they look cheap, and they end up being kind of cheap. So maybe you get what you pay for, but I don't think I could recommend either one of these uh, whatsoever, neither the headset nor the laptop fan. So anyway, this is probably the first dud that we've gotten uh, on our actual channel. And I say that with a heavy heart because I never like to actually report that things aren't that great, but I honestly can't recommend either one of these products. So either way, that's just my opinion about this stuff. Let me know your thoughts and such down below in the comment section. Of course, leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know also other products and other companies you guys want me to check out with these unboxing and impressions videos. Until then, I will talk to all of you again very soon. Peace out and stay epic everybody. Thanks so much for checking out this video, everybody. I really appreciate your time and your support. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel when you can. Don't forget to leave me a like on this video and comment down below. And also, don't forget to check out my Patreon page. I got a lot of great content that I know you're going to love. There's links down below in the description box. I hope you guys have a chill day. Peace out and stay epic, everybody.